Welcome back on the channel VST here with XP Tech. It's time to test the animation from the latest Samsung One UI 4 Beta 3. But stop for a moment, if you did not watch my full review on the Samsung One UI 4 Beta 3, go here, watch the video and then put this video on because this time it's going to be only animation testing. I have received a lot of requests from you guys out there so I'm just going to be trying to test everything I can even going into games, going in, going out, low landscape, vertical, all of those things. And if it's the first time you're on this channel, please check my other videos too. I have videos for mobile photography, apps reviewing, testing. We have a lot of other things. And guys, if you like the content, you might as well want to subscribe. Only 3% from the viewers watching my videos are subscribed. I don't know, that's very bad, but yeah, that is what it is. You can just help me beat the algorithm by subscribing and liking the video and starting this in three two one let's do it first thing i'm going to be doing is of course just powering the screen of my phone so i'm right now here on my always on display guys and i just want to show you the animation so if i just click the power button one this is the animation popping up right see clock is going up powering the screen right and just see what happens guys clock is moving around right so clock center now clock is gonna get up and this is just normal because this is the way always on display works it just changes you know the pixel use to prevent any burning and see here the animation for the fingerprint so I'm just gonna go inside the phone right now and the first thing we're gonna be testing is widget animation and for the first time of my life I think I have like something like 10 widgets on my screen I never use so much but I'm just doing these guys for the video First thing we're going to be testing is the new Samsung weather, which got also updated during the latest beta. So opening it, pay attention to this very, I would say, fancy animation. We have the sun melting into a omelette. I mean, come on. That's, I mean, what is there not to like? It's just very, very, very likable. So going out and you have this animation. So going one more time, popping up on the screen. Very nice, fancy animation. That's the new weather application. And by the way, when you scroll down, guys, color will turn from this, which is right now a blue color to white, but it's it just feels disconnected. It's not gradual, and I think Samsung should invest a bit more time just making this a bit more connected and flawless, like the, this blue color to translate and to transition into the white color in a proper way. But okay, it's about animations, all right? So going in, going out, that's the first thing. Next thing we have here, guys, is the calendar. So let's just open the calendar and just check the animation, all right? Opening it, you get something like this, zoom out, all right? Opening it, zoom out, and then, all right? And by the way, every time we do open the widget, just pay attention to the wallpaper. If you have checked my previous videos, you know I'm a very big fan of the wallpaper being zoomed in, zoomed out, because I think this is really very immersive. You know, kill me for using this word, but I think it's immersive. And it happens on Samsung right now only when you open widgets and application, but it doesn't happen, let's say, when you go to the recent screen, right? We just have that the blur, but it gets a whole lot of animation. Let's continue with the widgets. Next, we have the alarm. And by the way, guys, you see all these widgets here are very well rounded according to the latest Android 12 design language, but you can also interrupt with the widgets. See here, I have now an alarm set for 11.10, but I can just click here, right? So I interact with the widget itself on my main screen, turning on and off the alarm, and you can just see this animation popping in. So going inside will give me, of course, my clock, zooming out, it's pretty much the same behavior, okay? Next thing we got is the magnifier, which, you know, I just wanna show how this works. You know, it kind of can put something, right? and use your phone as a magnifier but i just wanted to show you guys the animation so there's the magnifier the next thing pay attention is a widget from device care so just click it you know we have this little dance here from the brush and my phone is optimized one gigabytes of memory is freed up and i'm winning right next we have the same widget but the bigger version where you can see the storage the memory right and you can just click inside we pretty much just have the same behavior, right? Go in, go out. And now we can just see based on how big the widget is, I would say Samsung kind of have different animations. Okay, so that I'm just gonna go out, see here, right? The small widgets have this animation and the bigger widgets have that animation. And in Spotify, so opening Spotify, right? I'm gonna play a song, I'm gonna stop a song, 
I see here all the bigot widgets have this animation which is a very bouncy and I also say also likeable animation and all the small widgets do have this animation which I think is quite nice and overall it does look very very unified right then I have a widget from telegram opening this one will go to my channel for which you can by the way subscribe if you're using the telegram application all my videos go there sometimes pulls and etc going out will get you the same so I would say a very core and very final cut I would say is a very current experience and I think Samsung are doing a great work here next thing we're gonna be testing guys I'm gonna go on my home screen right and I'm gonna be showing you guys here all the main settings the main tiles so Wi-Fi let's check the Wi-Fi going off animation right no animation at all see here on the sound though right sound animation works right you see here the speaker is moving a bit also with sound which is quite nice let's just do the same with the bluetooth no animation here just on and off okay and by the way auto rotate if we just click the auto rotate see it's animated airplane mode right see also animated and that's why i'm not sure guys see airplane mode animated the auto rotate animated but the wi-fi for some reason is not animated and i'm not sure if samsung are going to leave this like this or they're going to change it Mobile data, no animation as well. Mobile hotspot, no animation as well. Okay, let's continue with the others. We have the power saving, no animation as well. But you pretty much get the idea. Okay, next thing I want to do, I'm going to go inside the settings, show you guys this new stretching animation, which is fixed and, you know, it was really horrible in beta 1, beta 2. And this is right now, we have this bouncing of the icons going back and forth, pretty much like in the stock Android 12. I'm gonna go right now inside the Wi-Fi and just show you guys this here, like the toggle animation, okay? Toggle off, toggle on, okay? Killing the Wi-Fi, putting it on. Again, it is pretty much coming from the Android 12. It does pretty much work exactly in the same way. So this has been covered. Since we're now on the main screen, guys, let's do something. I'm just gonna hold my finger here so you can just see, you know, how we get to the settings and we have a luck here but okay we get this very nice blur effect and you can just see like the home screen is getting more blur blur than the rest of the wallpaper which is actually not getting any blur we have the wallpapers the teams the widgets and you know i, I kind of like this one right although sometimes you have this lag effect if i go to the left i will able to choose the google discover or the samsung free but we're now just here for the animation so this is this animation Okay, and it pretty much resembles the animations from the recent screen. Let me just show you recent screen animation. I'm just gonna do like this, okay? All my applications gonna pop up, right? The background now, the wallpaper is blurred, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the only one thing not still happening is zooming in, zooming out the wallpaper itself. Um, what do I mean? Let me just open, guys, Play Store and, okay, up opening animation. See here. Right, I've opened here my Play Store and you can just see when I'm going out how we get this zoom out on the wallpaper, okay? What I'm gonna do right now, guys, I'm just going to continue testing the animations. Let me show you folder opening animations, right, like this, okay? It doesn't matter how many icons you have on the Android 12, we get here a little icon dance. Not happening here, but okay, we have other things on the Samsung, you can just go and you can just choose different colors, you know, like, for example, even that one. And it's quite, quite likable. I would say, I'm using this word a lot, but you see, you can just do a lot of tweaks and you can just go back, of course, and go inside and just bring it back to the way it was. We also have the material UI, which I'm not gonna test right now, but you pretty much know what it does and what it's supposed to do. So opening of the folders is like this. I think we even have a very slight here, zoom out, zoom in, or probably something just with the blur. I cannot judge 100%. But it's there and now guys what i'm gonna do i'm going to close now all my applications gonna turn the phone into a landscape so i can just try to show you how this thing works in the landscape mode so right now see only landscape opening a folder pretty much centered okay opening a folder okay see I'm just gonna open that folder as well. It does work quite nice and i'm going to also be starting now with some of the apps opening in this landscape mode because a lot of you guys wanted to have this so i'm gonna open play store like this so you can just see what will happen right zoom in zoom out pretty much flawless guys and i know a lot of you wanted me also to open some games and if you stay until the end of the video i'm gonna be doing this right now guys i'm gonna be opening some of the application that i'm using so that we could see really what happens so first thing of course let's try youtube youtube is here okay youtube out youtube in right i would say quite nice if i open the camera okay quite nice as well it does pretty work 
quite well. Now I think with the battery, Samsung are trying to improve the experience, guys. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's still not perfect, right? They still need to improve some things, but it's becoming a bit more stable and yeah, less choppy. And by the way, guys, pay attention. I'm using here the highest resolution of my phone running on 120 hertz, right? If I would go to only FHD+, it would have been a bit better. And also you have the option to reduce the animations, right? Which I'm not gonna do because I wanna get a test on the full stock experience. Let me open the app drawer, okay, search. See all the icons popping up like this. One more time. Inside the applications, they're stuck like this. Click in here the search button. Well, and you have all of those. You have the option to search here. If you don't like it, then you just do like this. If I'll scroll to the left, I'm gonna get access to my Google feed. Scrolling down is actually not choppy. It feels, by the way, smooth. Now, okay. I told you before, it's not perfect. There are some chops here and there. Sometimes it's lagging. Is this acceptable for the S21 Ultra, which is a flagship phone? Probably not, but hey, is this a better software? Yes, it is. I promise to show you games opening and yeah, because I'm a father of two kids, you can just see I have some games on my phone, right? So let me just put the phone straight and I'm gonna open Brawl Stars, right? See, the moment I opened Brawl Stars, it immediately went into this landscape mode. Now we have to wait a bit and the game will start, right? What I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to try to get outside of the game because I promised this to you. So outside of the game, okay, not so smooth, but stay, you still get back to the home screen. Back inside my game list, let's start Bowmasters right now, starting Bowmasters. See, this fancy animation, kind of like the phone is just jiggling around and boom, you get immediately this landscape mode. So I'm just gonna go outside so you can see what happens. We are going to get back to the home screen and the phone eventually will try to stay in a landscape mode. Let's try some more apps opening. I'm gonna open Spotify, okay, see how it works. Going outside, Spotify, outside. Now guys, let's do an interesting test. I'm gonna open Cordify from the center of my phone, right? See where it zooms in back and I'm gonna move it around my corners. I'm not sure if other YouTubers are doing this, but I think it's a fancy test. So I'm just gonna open the Cordify application from the top right corner right now zoom out to it, you see it goes back always to the icon. Now the application is on my top left corner, opening the application, going back. Now I'm gonna put Cordify to the bottom of my phone, bottom right, so let's just open that one. Okay, opening it, zooming it out, you see. It's very important to see what the phone behavior would be when we do test like this. Okay, let's open the dialer, right, see, very smooth. Right, let's open Home, smooth again, okay, opening closing and every time we do open and close an application guys we have here this background blur and also zooming in zooming out which i like and i told this in the beginning i'm a big fan of this let's open the gallery inside here we have some very nice wallpapers if you like those wallpapers let me know i can try to put them somewhere for you going outside to my home screen see how it works pretty much the same what will happen if i just take the gallery and put it there so let's just open gallery okay see Every zoom in, zoom out animation when you go outside or inside goes back to the icon itself. A lot of you guys ask me to change the grid and I'm gonna do this right now specifically for you guys. So I'm gonna go here to settings and right now I have the home screen grid 4x5 and I'm gonna use the 5x5, okay? Use it 5x5. I'm trying to bring more folders and also icons on my home screen. Let's try to open the clock. Okay, zoom out. Folders, quite nice. Okay, see here, all works like expected and by the way i might as well also stay with this because you can just try to put more stuff on one screen speaking about screen hold the finger like here guys and you can change the home screen now for example if i go to my crazy widget screen i can select this here and now this will become my home screen see what i mean for example i'm here on this screen i'm here on this green i just go like this and it always will go down to the screen that i have selected to be my home screen so you're not really limited with one screen you can always try to choose these settings and guys i think this is pretty much the experience one more time in the recent menu guys try to kill some of the application right i don't think it's a bad one quite nice quite quick close all i think samsung are getting better at their game and i hardly can wait to test the next beta if you like this stuff i do guys don't forget to like the video subscribe for the channel guys share it with your friends and please you and your family members stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos and with that said vst over and and bye